Hello, my name is Andrew Simons. Uh, you may know me online as Uberdude. I am a 4Dan Go player from Britain and I will be doing a video about uh, Leela Zero and Lizzie and how you can use them to review your games and study other people's games and Jacekis and pro games. So, to start with, um, let me just give you a little overview of what I will be talking about. So we've got what is Leela Zero, what is Lizzie, and I will then do a guide to the Lizzie interface, um, and then some tips on how to review um, the sort of things that you can ask Lizzie, the things that you can't ask Lizzie, um, a few pitfalls, notably ladders, and then I'll do some examples, I'll review one of my games, and then I will also review a pro game. Okay. So, first thing, what is Leela Zero? Well, so I presume most of you have heard of AlphaGo. So AlphaGo was a program that was made by Google DeepMind and it beat Lee Sedol. And um, yeah, so that was very strong. Then they made another version called AlphaGo Zero and the key difference there was whilst AlphaGo started off with a lot of strong human player games and then improved from playing against itself, um, AlphaGo Zero started without any human games, just worse than a 30Q playing randomly, and then improved. And DeepMind published a paper showing how they did this, but AlphaGo itself and AlphaGo Zero were kept um, secret and unplayable by the general public. A few, some pros got to play it, um, but it's not available to everyone. So, various people decided they wanted to make their own strong Go bots based on the same approach, um, and the, there's an open source one called Leela Zero. Um, this was made by a guy called GCP. He had a version called Leela before, which was a more traditional Go program that was uh, amateur Dan strength. Um, and so Leela Zero is uh, so he plus then other contributors um, have made Leela Zero. And because uh, he doesn't have all the resources of Google with lots of servers with lots of powerful GPUs. It is a, a community effort where people all around the world donate their computer time to help train Leela Zero and make it get stronger. So we can see down here, if we have a look at the graph of Leela Zero. Um, this is its ELO rating on its own internal scale, so you can't really compare this to other things like Go ratings. It started off playing randomly down here. And we've got number of games here, it's up to over 12 million games now. Just for comparison, the final version of AlphaGo Zero ended up having 29 million games. Um, and it's improved and improved and improved, and getting stronger and stronger, and still getting stronger. Um, something just to show as well. Um, how does it sort of compare to, to people? Um, back in May of last year, it played Hayley Hajin Lee, who was a 3DAM pro, though she's retired now. Um, so, I mean, she's she's a pro, but she's not a top pro, so she's kind of like near the, the lower end of being a pro, but still, you know, in the European rating system, she's kind of 7 or 8 Dan. Um, and Leela Zero, back in May, beat her on even games quite convincingly. It won on two stones, but it lost on three stones. Um, and, you know, that was back in May last year, and it's just kept improving and improving and getting stronger and stronger. And top pros are probably somewhere around here. And, yeah, now it's better than any human. Um, okay. So, if I just go back to the Leela Zero homepage. So, Leela Zero is, consists of two parts. You've got the, the, just the, the raw engine, which is basically the executable file. Um, which is very small, and that doesn't have any of the Go knowledge in it. The thing that makes it uh, have all the Go knowledge are what we call the weight files. So if we go down here, we can see, starting back at the beginning, when it started back in November 2017. So if I click here, this will download the, the zero version of Leela Zero Weight. And it's got a new version as it's got stronger and stronger and stronger. Um, and here as well we can see this is the size of the network. So it started off with a small network and it's increased this first number is the number of blocks. You will see this often mentioned. It started off with one, then up to five, then it went to ten blocks for a while, 
then it was 15 blocks for a while, then it went to 20, now it's up to 40. 40 is the same size as the final version of AlphaGo Zero. Um, so a bigger block network can be stronger, but it is slower to run. Um, so you can kind of think of this a bit like, um, well, in terms of the stronger network, even with only, so we will have, you have playouts, which is basically reading one move. Um, so a stronger network with one playout has a stronger feeling of what the right move is. So it's, for example, if you ask a pro what's the right move, don't read anything, and he gives you your opinion, his opinion. Um, even if you got to ask a 20Q and you say, 20Q, you can read 100 moves, then, you know, the 20Q is like one of the networks down here. So even if it can do more playouts, it's not going to necessarily have a better answer than someone stronger with fewer playouts. Um, so that's the weight files. Um, so what next? Oh, yes. Um, there's something else to mention. So with um, Leela Zero, so you've got the engine, you've got your weights. If you want to contribute to the Leela Zero project, you go to the Leela Zero GitHub page, which was linked from the last one. So Leela Zero 0 0.16, that's the engine. Auto GTP, this is a program which you put onto your computer and then it downloads tasks from the Leela Zero server and does games and then uploads them so you can contribute your computer time. Um, Okay, so Lizzie. So Leela Zero can just play Go. It doesn't have any user interface. Um, and there are user interfaces if you want to play it. But if you want to do reviewing, then Lizzie is an excellent tool to use for this. Um, so Lizzie is another open source piece of software that's available for free. Um, and here is the home page. I've got I'll put the links underneath the video so you can get, get all these things. Um, this shows you what it looks like. So basically you put a game in and it shows you um, with these coloured circles where Leela Zero wants to play and how good it thinks the moves are. Um, so just a little bit of sort of history of uh, Lizzie. The creator of Lizzie in fact came to a student tournament in Cambridge last summer and I did an interview with her. Um, so that's this place here. I'll have to get the links in here. And Lizzie's been a remarkable success. Um, so at this tournament, there were pros playing a pro tournament. And this was the room next door. And you might recognize this is Chang Hao. He was a nine down professional, uh, probably the top Chinese player back in the early 2000s. This is Yu Bin. He's the coach of the Chinese national team. And here they are using Lizzie to review the, the game that they were, that was being played next door. Um, and also I went to Korea uh, and went to the Korean Baduk Association where they have the Baduk League being played in a TV studio down in the basement. And here's Shin Jin So, who's the strongest human on the planet. And he asked Lizzie, what does Lizzie think of his game? So that he's reviewing his game with Lizzie. Um, there, they all are gathered round, looking at Lizzie's review. This is Lee Chang Ho here as well, and this is uh, my teacher there, Kim Sung Jun or Blackie. So yeah, Lizzie's uh, turned out to be very popular. Okay, so let's now take a look at the Lizzie interface. Um, well, first of all, I'll just show you sort of how how to get it. Um, so yeah, if you go to here, Lizzie, and there is a download, and here are the links you can download Lizzie to run on your computer. So you've got a Windows version, you've got a Mac and a Linux version. Um, you'll notice here there's CPU and GPU. So these programs are quite computationally intensive if you want to get the best performance, but even on a poor computer, that's still very, very strong. Um, so if you've got a GPU, a graphics card, then that will make it go faster, so you get the GPU version, otherwise you get your CPU version. Um, so the, the Windows versions come bundled with the Lizzie uh, interface, which is a Java program, so you need to install Java. 
and then it's got the Leela Zero executable built for you all ready to go and it also comes with a network file. Um, now it comes with network file number 157 if we go back to Leela Zero we can see here so it comes with 157 which is the last uh, 15 block and you can see it's, it's actually from summer last year it's already super super strong um, so you can get stronger ones that are more recent but they will be slower um, I will sort of just show a few little differences between them later um, but if you want to get a different network you can download another one um, and there are some other networks as well that aren't even Leela Zero that you can run in Lizzie um, so for example there is Elf OpenGo which is the Facebook bot which has been converted to run in Leela Zero. Um, also there are some other ones, for example, I'll show one called Leela Master. This is um, made based on Leela Zero plus some human games, so it has a bit more of a human style, particularly in the opening. Um, so Leela Zero likes to invade at 3-3 three, three points under 4-4 four, four stones. Um, if you get a bit sick of that and you just want to play something that looks a bit more normal like humans played before all these bots came along then you can get the Leela Master and it will play a bit more traditional looking go. Um, okay, so I'm doing this on a Mac. Um, on a Mac if you download Lizzie you will in fact not... oops, sorry you don't get the Lizzie executable. If you download it, you will get the Lizzie jar. You'll get a README with all the information about sort of help installing and commands. Um, and you'll get the network. But for the actual executable on a Mac, you need to build it yourself. There are instructions in there. Um, so here's one I made earlier. If I then want to run it, then here is the Lizzie interface. Uh, let me just move this down. So we've got the, the main board in the middle um, and let's have a look what we've got going on in the inter on the, the main screen. So we've got all these coloured circles, it's black smooth, the last move is marked with a the, the circle and we've got these dots with numbers in saying what Leela Zero is thinking of playing. So, first of all, the numbers. The number on the top is the win rate, which is basically how good it thinks that move is for the player. Um, now, it doesn't act if you ask Leader Zero to play, it doesn't actually play the move with the highest win rate. It will play the move with the highest of the bottom number, which is playouts. Now, playouts is basically how many moves it's done reading that move. So if you kind of look at that move and then it looks at one after, or maybe it looks at a different choice for the next move for white and then a different and then a move for black after that and then it might look at a few different choices. So it's basically how many of those um, moves has it read down following that first move. And it would play the move with the most playouts. So the move with the most playouts is coloured with this light blue colour. So if you said to Lilo Zoe, play now, that's the move it would play now. Then the other moves are green, are sort of not as good as the blue, but still quite good. And then you've got sort of the, the yellow colour in the middle, and then sort of down to red are the, the worst moves. There aren't any red ones on this board at the moment. Um, so the commands for Lizzie, if you hold down your X, sorry, hold down your X button then you can get the listing of the commands. So the key ones, well, you can play against Leela Zero and Lizzie, but I'm just going to focus on reviewing here. Um, you, you click to play your moves, you can use your scroll wheel to scroll through them, put coordinates on if you want, you can pass. This A, run automatic analysis, that's quite handy. I will show that in a minute. Um, and then the key one that I don't see here is spacebar, which toggles pondering. So pondering is basically saying start start thinking at the moment, it's paused. So this is a game of mine versus a guy called Sam Aitken. Um, this was a British Championship game that we played last year. Um, so 
I'm using the 157 weights here. If I press my spacebar, 